Ooh. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. 
to those songs tonight with the spirit that we can feel. Thank the Lord for that determination. died for the world, did right. Right. Yeah. Behold the Lamb of God, John said, to take away the sin of the world. Amen. Yeah, thank God for a life in Jesus Christ. Thank God for a feeling, Brother Kenny, that he's walking with me. Amen. You feel that tonight? I thank Amen. God of heaven and earth because he's walking with me. Amen. Yeah, we're here in Luke the fourth not Luke, but Ephesians, the fourth chapter and the first verse. Brother Billy, put you to work again if you don't care to read for me. Thank God for what he's done for the, for the house of God tonight. I know that I, I'm not anything without the Lord. I'm nothing on my own. But I do know, Lord, help us tonight. We can say something that would be a blessing to God's people. Alright, brother, read that for me. Start at the first verse and read him down. I therefore the prisoner of the Lord beseech you. This is Apostle Paul. He said, I therefore the prisoner of the Lord beseech you. That you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you were called. Yeah, we're all been called, like Brother Kenny taught, to do a work for God, haven't we? Right. Yeah, we're called by the gospel, ain't we? Amen. Yeah, why did God call you and me by the gospel? To the obtaining of the glory of God. That's why he called us. Amen. By that gospel. Yeah, that's something that you can attain in this life. And, of course, when this life is over, we'll sure enough attain it, won't we? Amen. Great brother. I, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering. With all lowliness and meekness and long suffering. Forbearing one another in love. Forbearing one another in love. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit. That's something we got to work toward. That's something we got to work on. Amen. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the, in bond. the bond of peace. Yeah, that's what God loves is peace, don't he? Amen. Yeah, Jesus come down here that he might give us his peace. He said, my peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto thee. Not as the world giveth, give unto thee. Let not your hearts be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Amen. Yeah, Jesus gave us that peace when he let his blood run down Golgotha's hill. Amen. Didn't he? Right. Right. Having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him I say, Jesus, to reconcile all things unto himself. Yeah, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. And he came to preach peace to you who are afar off, that's us Gentiles, yeah. and to them that were not. Man. For by him we both, Jew and Gentile, have access. We got an entrance by one spirit to God the Father. Man. Yeah, through that blood on the cross of Calvary, you can get in touch with the Master tonight through that blood, can't we? Man. Yeah, that blood that was shed for you and me. Read, Brother Billy. There's one body. There's one body. That's all God said there ever was. One There's spirit. one body. And one spirit. That's the church. One spirit to go in that one body. Even as you're called in one hope of your call. Even though Jesus come down here to do these things, to start this process in this church 2,000 years ago, that's still one body. There's still one spirit to go in that one body, ain't there? Amen. Yeah, whereby know we we are of the truth because we love God and keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. Amen, yeah, that's how we know that whereby we know that we are his disciples, that we have love one toward another. That's Amen. what the Bible 
Bible says ain't it? Right. He said, I write unto you a new commandment, which is not a new commandment, but one that you've heard from the beginning. The old commandment is the word, the Bible said, didn't it? Yeah, that word that we have. Yeah, we've got an express image and picture of what the Lord done. No greater love than this, than a man would lay down his life for his friend. That's the greatest love that's ever been known to man. Right. Yeah, God the Father, we know he manifested his love toward us when he sent his son. Jesus manifested his love toward us. And while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. We manifest our love for God. Yeah, when we proclaim his name and we call on him. Yeah, for he'll help us in the time of trouble. Do you love the Lord tonight? Amen. I love him. Amen. I come here to praise him. Amen. I come here to get what God's got for me tonight. Yeah, we felt that spirit moving during the singing. We'll all just center our minds on heaven for a few minutes tonight. Yeah, he can fill you with that spirit that you felt. Did you know that? Amen. Yeah, he can fill that vessel of yours. We're baptized with the Holy Ghost when Jesus sends it down here from the Father. Amen. Yeah, but he can fill you up with that spirit too, can he? Amen. That's what I'm desiring. Cool. Yeah, that's a closer walk with God, ain't it? There's one body, that's his church. There's one spirit to go in that body. Now, the body without the spirit is dead. Like I was talking about your natural spirit this morning. If you lose that, you'll die. Yep. Yeah, for the Bible said the body returns unto the dust and the spirit unto God who gave it. That's right. Yeah. God takes that spirit from you. And we're a dead issue, ain't we? God yeah, takes the spirit from the church. It's a dead issue. Amen. But he'll never take it from the church of God. Right. He purchased this with his own blood. Right. Yeah, it was good enough for our forefathers, our fathers and mothers, and the old men and women of God from, to go from this life to eternity. And it's good enough for me. Right. Yeah, what the Lord done is good enough for me. Read, brother. One body, one spirit, even as you're called, and one hope of you called. One Lord. One Lord. One faith. That's here on this earth. Amen. There's one Lord. And his name is Jesus Christ. Amen. One faith. One baptism. One baptism. That's the, the baptism of water. Yeah, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. That's what the Bible said. That's water baptism. In 1 John he said, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. These three agree in one. Amen. These three are one. Let me turn. I hold that right there, Brother Billy. Yeah, God has done some things for you and me. Amen. God has given us some gifts in the house of God tonight. God's given you gifts all through your life and my life. And I want to praise them for it. This is 1 John 5 and verse 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. But he called them three before he called them one, didn't he? They're three separate and distinct individuals, but they are one in spirit, aren't they? Yep. They agree with one another. Yep. And I want my spirit to agree with them too. Amen. There are three that bear witness in earth. Now what he what he read, one Lord, one faith, and one baptism, that's here on this earth. It's the Lord Jesus. You won't need faith when you get to heaven. Nope. Receiving the end of your faith. Even the salvation of your souls. 
You won't need faith when you get to heaven, so that's what we need. That's something here on this earth. One Lord, one faith, and one baptism. That's the baptism of water. There's the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It's done on this earth, but it comes straight from heaven. Amen. Every time you feel that Spirit come down from God the Father and light upon you, God sent you that from heaven. Amen. Revelations 8 and 1 says there's silence in heaven for about the space of a half an hour. That angel come around about the throne and he took of the fire from the altar and he cast it into the earth. That's what we're made out of. Dust thou art, that's earth. Dust thou shalt return. He cast that fire into the earth. Not on the earth. There were lightning voices and thunder and an earthquake. Yeah, when those men had prayed for boldness in Acts the fourth chapter, after they were beaten, after they have been whipped for preaching and healing people in the name of Jesus, they prayed for boldness. That's what I want. Lord, grant unto thy servants boldness that we may speak thy word. By stretching forth thy hands to heal, that many signs and wonders by be, be done in the name of thy holy child Jesus. He said, Behold their threatenings. Listen, Lord, but grant unto us all boldness that we might speak thy word. That's what I want tonight. Don't you want that faith? Yeah, I know you're telling me this, but I know God's going to move. Right. Not I believe God's going to move, not I hope God's going to move. I know God's going to move for me. Amen. That's right. right. That's faith, ain't it? Amen. Amen. That we have love for the brethren and faith unfeigned. I don't want nothing to come in between me and my faith in God. Amen. It ain't what I can do. It's what God can do. It ain't what I have done, but it's what God has done. There's been healing. There's been deliverance. There's been all sorts of miracles done this week in the name of Jesus Christ. Just because we don't know, we ain't been around them, don't mean they ain't been done. God's still working in His house, ain't He? God still got the Holy Ghost in the house of God. Yeah, the God we serve is alive and well tonight. Amen. Very much alive on the throne in heaven. Amen. Woo! Amen. Amen. This body of His is the church. He put His Spirit in it to give it life, didn't He? Amen. Amen. There's three in heaven and there's three on the earth. There are three that bear witness. In the earth, there's what they are. The Spirit, and that's the Spirit of Christ. That's the preacher. That's the man that's calling people yeah, to come to the Lord. Amen. The Spirit, the water, that's water baptism, and the blood. It bears witness in His church, aren't they? Yeah, that's the, the, really the steps in order that you get it. You had to receive the Spirit of Christ. Yeah, that's the gospel. Yeah, and once you've heard that, once you hear the gospel and believe, you receive the Spirit of Christ, Brother Kenny. Spirit of belief in Jesus. They could get that while Jesus was here. They could get that before the Holy Ghost was sent to the church. They could get that Spirit to believe in the Savior. Man. Yeah, just, there's power in the Word of God, ain't there? Amen. Oh, yes, tonight. <laughs> yeah, they just heard that Jesus was passing by. Amen. Yeah, yeah he's here tonight, ain't he? Amen. Yeah, the Spirit. Yeah, and then when Peter got up on the day of Pentecost, he told them people to repent and be baptized out of the water. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. There's the blood. Amen. 
Hebrews 9 and 22 says, on all, And almost all things by the law are purged with blood. Without the shedding of blood is no remission. No, had he not, that's how I know he's real. That's how I know he come down here and he gave his blood for me. Because I ain't got no condemnation tonight. I ain't got no condemned conscience, Brother Ken. No, that's been rolled away. Yeah, that's how I know the Lord shed his blood on that cross. Amen. Without the shedding of blood, is no remission. Right. Yeah, I feel that remission, that power tonight. Amen. Now you're clean through the word. Amen. Jesus said, which I have spoken unto you. How can you do that? My word is spirit. My word is life, he said. Didn't he? Amen. That Lord, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, that's on the earth. Amen. Those are the things that he gave to the house of God for you and me to enjoy, for you and me to lean on in our time of trouble. Yeah, we've got some sustainable things that you can touch, that you can feel, that you can see. That's how God works. Might not ever touch them on this side of life with these fingers. You might not ever see it on this side of life with these eyes. But you can feel it, but you can see it, and we know it's real, don't we? Amen. That's right. right. Yeah, the gifts that God has given to the church through Jesus Christ. Ephesians 4 now, Brother Billy, in verse 6. One God, Father of all. One God. Father of all, you know Jesus had a God too. When he rose from the dead, he told Mary, you go tell my brethren that I'll meet them in Galilee. That's what he told them. But he said, I also told her, I ascend to my father and your father, to my God and your God. He had a God too, didn't he? That's right. One God, who is he, Brother Billy? Father of all. Father of all. Who is above all. Who is above all? Through all. Through all. Amen. And thank God in you all. Amen. Oh, what gifts he's given to the house of God. Read, brother. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of gift of Christ. You hear that gift? Every one of us is given grace. That's a gift from God. Grace. According to the measure of the gift of Christ. Isaiah, Brother Donald, said, For unto us a child was born. Unto us a son is given. They grew up from that child in a manger. He was confounding the lawyers at 12. Started his ministry at 30. At 30, 30 and a half years, he was nailed to an old Roman cross. Right there, God gave his son. Unto us, the son is given. Yeah, the Lord God had to turn away. And the sun became dark. Back to sackcloth and tire. Yeah, when the Lord was hanging on that cross, it refused to shine. Even the natural sun refused to shine at what they were doing. Our Lord and Savior. Yeah, but he had a plan, didn't he? Pilate said, Hath go you not that I have power to condemn you and power to set you free. Jesus said, You have no power at all against me, except it were given to you and my Father. He said, he that has delivered me unto thee has the greater damnation. But he told him, this is your hour in the power of darkness. But he had a day come. He had a day come. What happens when the day comes? The sun comes up. No. What happened, Brother Kenny, when the day of the Lord came? The Son of God come up from the ground, didn't he? That's right. Hope you get some good out of this. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. Read, brother. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. All right. 
Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captives and captives. What is it that stops you captive tonight? What is it that keeps you from receiving God's Spirit? What is it that keeps you from being free on this earth? When the Lord went up, God got this hill, he went there sinless. Perfect Lamb of God. He took captivity. He nailed it captive. He led captivity. When he was walking up that hill, you could see him leading captivity. The sin of all the world. Everything right up that mountain. Then he let him nail it to his cross. He wasn't buckled down with just the weight of that Roman made cross. He was buckled down because God laid upon him the iniquity of us all. So he led it. He led captivity captive. The very thing that had this world captive and bound was sin. He captured it when he lived a sinless life. And with God's supreme sacrifice for sin on that old cross, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Aren't you proud of the gifts he's given you? Amen. I am. That's right. Let's see here. Brother Billy, go to John 3 and 1, if you don't care for me. We'll actually start at John 3 and 3, if you don't mind. I thank God for his spirit that we I'm preaching on the gift, some of the gifts that God gives us. All right, brother, read. Jesus asked and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So that tells me if a man gets born again, he can see it. Right. So it's something you can see. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Let not the natural man think that he receiveth anything from the Lord. For the carnal mind is an enmity against God. It's not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. Carnality will not give you and get you the Holy Ghost. No. Spirituality will do it, though. Doing what the Lord said will do it. And those Brother Kenny, those apostles, after they got through praying for boldness, there, Acts 5 and 32, and we are witnesses of these things. The apostles were. How that Jesus, when he was there, he was baptized of John and all the way time to him. He led him up Bethany. And that and departed from this earth and went back to heaven. They witnessed all of that, did they? We're witnesses of these things, and so also is the Holy Ghost. He witnessed it too, didn't he? Whom the Lord hath given. That's a gift. Whom the Lord hath given to them that obey him. Yeah. Hey, well, I've, I've messed up. Well, how, what would you need to do to obey him? Lord, forgive me. Lord, please forgive me. Lord, cleanse me. I don't want to be found in that shape, and he'll give you the Holy Ghost. Amen. It's for you. It's a Amen. gift from God for humanity. Right. Really for the church, ain't it? Amen. The blood was shed for humanity, but the gift of the Holy Ghost was given for the church. Amen. To the church. What great power that God has bestowed upon this world. Yeah, I thank God I'm for recipient of that Holy Ghost and partaker. You might not have the gift of wisdom. You might not have the gift of knowledge or healing or the discerning of spirits. But when you're in God's house and in the church, you're a partaker of all those gifts. We're a partaker. Every time God moves on somebody, we partake of that. Because it edifies us, don't it? Yeah, he told them people in the church of Galatia. 
He said, this only would I learn of you. He wanted to teach them a few things, but he only wanted to learn one thing from that church. Receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Yeah, that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I, when, while Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them that believed. He can do it now. Amen. We got to get our hearts, though, right, don't we, tuned up. But these are gifts that God has given to the church. All right, brother. Jesus answered, Father, Father, I say unto you, except a man be born of the water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Except a man be born of the water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. Yeah, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. Yeah. That's all it'll ever be in carnality unless it gets born again. What has to be born again? What was born the first time, Brother Scott? A body, a soul, and a spirit. That's what has to be born again. But it starts inside with the soul and spirit. And then it, you'll see holiness start from the inside and work its way out. You won't have to worry about people dressing indecent or living indecent because once holiness gets in, it works its way out, don't it? The same way with the conversation and speech, it won't be wicked and on wicked things. Because holiness starts here, but it comes out. It's not what goeth in that defiles a man, but what cometh out. Murders and all these things come out of the man, don't they? Yeah, but when the Lord cleans up, you don't, may not realize or not, and I know there's people that don't believe this, and that don't make no difference to me. Anyhow, but if there's something wrong about you that you used to do in your past life, it was an unclean spirit, unclean spirit about it, no matter what it was. And when the Lord saved you and he cleaned you up, that took that out of you. Nobody may never lay their hands on you and cast it out that way. Yeah, some man of God might be preaching and you in your heart saying, Lord, I don't want to be here no more. Lord, I want you to move from me. And you can feel that leave you. That's right. Then God, he'll put that spirit of his in there to replace it. He'll put that word of his in there to replace it. But they won't inhabit together what agreement hath God with idols. They won't be in there together. Like we can't serve God and man, and you'll cleave to one and hate the other. Yeah, but if we'll let God clean us of those things, he'll fill us with his Holy Ghost. Right. He'll fill us. He said, he said, the man be born of the water and of the spirit. It takes both brothers and sisters to be born again. Take both. It's one birth, but there's two parts to that birth. Repent and be baptized. That's the first part. That you might receive for the cleansing or for the remission. That's the second part. You might receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, being born of the water and of the Spirit. Read, brother. That which born that which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the Spirit is spirit. That which is born of the Spirit is spirit. He that is joined to the Lord is one spirit. You see what that does for you? You see that gift that God's given us? But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Yeah. He that is born of the Spirit is spirit. What a walk. And what a gift from God. 
that the God of heaven and earth, the creator of the ends of the earth, would walk with you, would talk with you. What a gift. Yeah, Enoch was translated because he had this testimony that he pleased God. Enoch was called the friend of God, but yeah. he walked with God. Yeah, well, if he could do it, somebody else could do it. That's right. And people don't believe that. And people believe that the old people lived in the Old Testament and the apostles was all that got anything from God. That's what they believe. They believe they can live like hell, but because we didn't get that no way, what difference does it make? He saved us already without any effort on our part. Like Leonard said one time, boy, that is amazing great thing. Yeah. He can save you and you not know about it. <laughs> but that ain't salvation. No. That's a fairy tale of imagination, ain't it? Right, right. Yeah, there's a change made in being born again. Mm -hmm. But all those things, he don't ask very little, but that's a gift from God, ain't it? Right. Yeah, that Holy Ghost a gift from God. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. All right, read on down, Brother Billy. For all not that I said unto thee, you must be born again. But the wind bloweth where it listeth. Thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot tell whence it cometh. Whether it goeth, so it is every one that is born of the Spirit. And so is every one that is born of the Spirit. Read, Brother. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? He just didn't understand. Jesus answered and said unto him, How art thou a master of Israel, and knowest not these things? How can these things be? This man was a master in Israel. Under that law, he was skilled. Yeah, but you notice he wouldn't meet with Jesus in the daytime. He went down there by night, didn't he? Tried to flatter him, the Lord. We know it. God will no man can do these miracles except God be with them, but he didn't cut no eyes for Jesus. He said, Mark, you must be born again. Did to see the kingdom of God. Amen. He said, You not a master in Israel and knowest not these things? Somewhere it must have been in that old testament. I know one place it's in Ezekiel 18 and Ezekiel 37 when he talks about putting that new spirit and new heart. Jeremiah talked about I'll give them one heart and one way. That's being born again for the good of them, for the good of their children after them. Train up the child in the way that it shall go and when he's old he will not depart from them. He didn't say he wouldn't ever stray from them. Yeah, but somewhere that word will be sown in that old heart. Something somewhere will cause them to leave the battle. That old heart to return to the Lord that they knew long ago. If that ain't the way if that don't happen, then God lied in his word, and I know he did. That's right. All right, Brother Billy Lee. Why in the Bible I say unto thee, we speak that we do know. That we speak what we do know and testify of that which we have seen. Receive, and you receive not of our witness. You receive not of our witness. If I told you earthly things, if I had not. told you earthly things, that shows that that one Lord, one faith, one baptism was water baptism. If I told you earthly things, that's what's on the water. That's what is down here is the water, ain't it? Yeah. Being born again, that's an earthly thing. Then he said, if I've told you earthly things and you believe me not, how shall you believe if I tell you heavenly things? How shall you believe if I tell you heavenly things? Yeah, but what the pretty part of that is, is he did. We learned those earthly things happened. And I believe. That's right. Yeah, yeah then that opens up your heart to hear about the heavenly. They couldn't get past the earthly things with Jesus. They wanted to hold on to that law. They branded him a blasphemer. They got false witness against him and they put him to death. 
because they never got past the earth to think. I don't want to live in carnality all my life. No, I want to be spiritual. That's right. I want that. I want that Holy Ghost to walk in me. And what gifts that God has given us? I'm gonna have to get that clock fixed. Brother Kenny said he's going to. <laughs> I can go on and on and on as I proved this morning. If I ain't got no time to stop. <laughs> God has done great things for the house of God. <laughs> great things. John 3 27, Brother Bill. John actually said, A man can receive nothing except to be given to him from heaven. You see that? A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. James, the fifth chapter, Brother Billy. James 1 and 5, if you don't. Care and then 17. Might take about five more minutes. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God. That's a gift from God, then. And give it to all men liberally. Liberally. He's got plenty of it. Remember, Brother Johnny quote this verse quite a bit. How unsearchable are his judgments? And his ways past finding out. Apostle Paul said, Who hath known the mind of the Lord? Who hath known the mind of the Lord that we may instruct him? Well, we don't. Who hath given to the Lord that he might be recompensed again? We can't. But we do have this. But we have the mind of Christ. We've got that much, don't we? What is the mind of Christ? It's a mind suffer for the house of God. It's a mind to do what the Father asked us to do. That's the mind of Christ. All right, Brother Bill, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who giveth liberally to all men and upbraideth not. It shall be given him. It shall be given him. Boy, I love those shall things. You can bank on them. Yeah, these signs shall, shall follow them that believe. In my name, they shall cast out them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. These are positive things, ain't they? Amen. I love them because I know God cannot lie. That's right. If we ask in faith, we'll receive. And that's what he's about, Apostle James is about to tell us. Let him ask in faith, not waver. Let him ask in faith, nothing waver. For he that wavered is like a wave of the sea driven with the light wind. Yeah, I don't oh. want to be staggered around in doubt. That's that carnal mind again that never received anything from God. Because it's carnal, they don't receive things from God, they're convinced that there is no God. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Now, I don't want to ever get in that shape, but I know it's a battle that a lot of fights that it's because of carnality. Yeah. That verse from 1 Corinthians 13 or 2 Corinthians 13. Charity believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth. Yeah, that's that love. That's God, isn't it? Yeah, charity is the tree and love is the fruit on the tree. The fruit of the Spirit is love. God is a Spirit. Right. Yeah, but it's God that never fails, brothers and sisters. Yeah, love, in a lot of senses, is not God. The love of money sure ain't God, is it? Nope. That'll fail you. Yeah, while many have coveted after, they've erred from the faith. The Bible said they pierced themselves through with many sorrows. That ain't enduring. I ain't never failed. Oh, no. But God will never fail. That's right. Yeah, you can just look and breathe the things that God's done that he's never failed on. Look at this earth and the world. The sun, the moon, the stars, the weather. Never failed. Oh, you look at the animals. They bring their young in without aid of man. They ne never failed. 
It sustained in us itself, ain't it? Never failed us. Even God don't fail. We need to come to time. Yeah. He built an ark. He had Noah to build an ark for the saving of God's house. Yep. He never failed. When it comes time to send the Savior, without fail, he did that. Right. When it comes time to send them again, he will not fail you and me. That's right. Mm -hmm. He don't fail. I'll read the 17th verse, Brother Billy. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights. Yeah, every good gift and perfect gift is from above. And John the Baptist told him, man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. What else are some gifts from God? Do you know? I'm going to wind down. Lord be my helper, but what about our children? Fruit of the womb is his reward, the Bible said, and happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. That's the children. They're a gift from God. Amen. What about your husband or your wife? Amen. They're gifts from God. Amen. If it is a husband, then she is a wife. Yep. Proverbs 19 and 14, houses and riches are the inheritance of father. And a prudent wife is from the Lord. It's a gift from God, ain't it? Thank God for mine and my children both. What great things God has given you and me. And I want to serve. Yeah, I want to not take those gifts for granted. Yeah, He's given us that. He's given us the Spirit. He's given us the Word. He's given us wisdom. Like Brother Ernie, uh, Brother Ernie, that moment of mine, Brother Kenny, talked this morning, covered iron and sleep the best here. I want something from God. I thank God for the spirit I felt tonight. I desired it. Amen. I want it. I needed it, brothers and sisters. That's right. And then here's the fact of the business. I'm going to need it in the morning. Amen. I'm going to need it tomorrow. Right. We're going to need it when we gather out Wednesday. Yeah, until the Lord returns. The outward man perish. The inward man, he never gets old. But he's renewed day by day. Yeah. yeah I hope what I said is a blessing. I ask you to please pray for me when it goes well with you. No pastor appreciation day is coming up, but Jeremiah. 3 and 15 or 3 14, I'll give you pastors. A lot of people say after mine own heart, but that ain't what the Bible says. It says I'll give you pastors according to my heart. David was a man after God's own heart, simply meaning he wanted 100% of God. If God's got our heart, he's got all of us, don't we? That's right. David was a man after God's own heart. He wanted 100% of God. But he said, I'll give you a pastor according to my heart. He'll give us the pastors he wants us to have. Won't he? According to my heart, what will they do? They'll feed you with knowledge. Yeah, that's a gift from God, man. Amen. Can be every good and perfect gift. And I'm not saying I'm perfect by no means. Please don't misunderstand me. Don't tell nobody about it didn't say that. But he'll give us what we need, won't he? We'll ask for it. We'll seek for it. We'll find every bit of it, won't we? Anybody else like to speak? Bobby, I like to thank God for me. Man. Oh, man. Yeah, she looked smiling tonight, and it's good to see that. <laughs> Proud of that. God for healing. Thank God for moves He's made for me this week. Answering prayer.